is Dr. Tom Berger. I'm Executive Director of the Veterans Health Council for Vietnam Veterans of America. And our national office is located in Silver Spring, uh, Maryland. And our founding principle um, is never again shall one generation of American veterans abandon another. Okay, thank you. So can you tell us how organizations like the Men's Health Network can work closely with you to raise awareness about uh, TBI and CTE? Well, certainly, certainly the fact that uh, we both work together uh, to put this on today with the generous uh, help of Congressman Raymond's office. So we're in partnership with the Men's Health Network on a variety of health issues, not only those that affect men, but those that affect women as well. That's great. And how do you think that uh, members of the Congress, as well as the sports industry, uh, can come together and uh, raise awareness regarding these issues and also the military? Well, I think uh, today was yet another good example of that. The fact that over a period of months working with uh, members of the NFL, the Wrestling Association, the Soccer Associations, um, to educate uh, members of Congress about these kinds of injuries, I think, helps a, you know, a great deal in getting the word out about them. Uh, it's not easy to reach the general public regarding these issues. So do you think that the upcoming seasons of the NFL and NHL and also the Veterans Day can be used as a launch pad to uh, inform and educate the people? Uh, most, most certainly. Um, we try to do that on Veterans Day. And I'm sure, uh, as we've heard today, there'll be an increased effort uh, by the NFL in various capacities to educate the American public. Um, and it helps because the, the American public is so focused on the entertainment aspect of it, they don't understand there's certain risk factor, whether it's uh, uh, you know the NFL or the hockey leagues, or uh, in my uh, specialty or field of interest, uh, in the military. Okay, thank you. And what other key stakeholders should be a part of this in your opinion? I think certainly, uh, although they are uh, key stakeholders but weren't here today, um, the, uh, those technicians that are involved in uh, magnetic imaging and those kinds of things uh, from the various agencies that do that, one of the physicians uh, mentioned something on the order of uh, 20 to 30 different uh, groups that work with imaging and uh, diagnostic uh, testing and that sort of thing. So um, it helps when these folks get together. So what's the next step? Where do we go from here? Well, I think uh, the, the, the next step is to, uh, for these groups, uh, to get together and, and take a couple of issues to focus on in particular. And I think we heard up there today what was generally hinted at is, number one, a standardization of the terminology that's used. Is it a concussion, mild TBI, or do we call it some variation of brain injury? Uh, I think that's very crucial to come, uh, develop a common language. And then we can move forward, and everybody's talking about the same thing, so that when I say uh, traumatic brain injury, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and we can start with that. I think that's going to be the first step that's needed. Do you think as a, terming it as a disease is going to help? Do I, I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, do you think terming C, uh, CTE and TBI as a disease is going to help uh, create more education around it? I think it, will, it again, will bring some a great deal more emphasis uh, to it if it's raised to that level. Um, and so when people begin to talk about it professionally in the medical community uh, across the board, then I think that will help a great deal. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your insights. Thanks for being here with us. You're quite welcome. Thank you.